Hey, Brennan and Carolyn, we just had a press conference here in the city of Charleston, but in case you miss, miss some of those key points that people here in the city really need to know, we're here with the mayor and also council member Sheely to talk about the things that people need to get ready for and prepare for with Tropical Storm Debbie heading towards us. So kind of just tell us, um, reiterate some of the things you talked about during this press conference, um, how people should be prepared. Sure, look, this is uh, looks to be an unprecedented rain event that's heading our way, so people need to take it seriously. I know that it looks like it's sunny and nice outside, but uh, we have a ton of rain coming our way. Like I say, unprecedented amounts of rain. So people need to prepare and they need to start preparing now. Um, starting tomorrow about midday, we're gonna start seeing rain and it's probably not gonna stop for three or four days. Uh, and so, and, and in all likelihood will result in dangerous flash flooding. So uh, we want people to be safe and we want people to uh, make sure that their homes are protected so it's better to start preparing now. Yeah, and I know sandbags are a very important thing. You guys have distributed over 20,000 just today and dis distribution will um, also happen tomorrow. So mm -hmm. what do people need to know about that? So we have, I believe, four different locations throughout the city. We can get uh, those uh, to anybody that might need them. We should have plenty. Um, and I think they could be very uh, helpful in terms of protecting your property. So again, ask people, you know, no charge, come get them and uh, make sure that your homes are protected. Yeah, absolutely. And Council Member Sheely, I mean, you are in, you uh, represent a very flood prone area as well. So what are you telling your consist constituents about um, the storm? Well, certainly the same thing. Certainly be prepared right now. Um, get what you need right now because you may be stuck in the house or we want, we don't want you on the roads once this storm begins and once the waters rise. You know, obviously Church Creek has flooded several mm -hmm. times in the past. Um, our team has done an, a fantastic job of preparing Church Creek. Now, as the mayor said, it's unprecedented. We yeah. don't know exactly what's going to happen, but Lake Daughter has been lowered down as low as it possibly can be. Those gates are closed as far as water being able to come in right now. And as, as the rain comes in and, and Lake Daughter arises, we'll open those gates and allow that to go back into Church Creek. But there's been a lot of improvements to mm -hmm. Church Creek um, since the last time it flooded. So. While this is unprecedented, we're certainly more prepared than we were in the past. Yeah, good to know. Well, thank you, too, for your time. Um, and just, you know, preparation is key. I think that's the message here that we're telling you. Of course, you can count on News 2 for updates as we track this storm. We're going to a quick break, but we'll be right back.